All right. So, thank you for joining me. My name is Sam, also known as, well, what was West Coast Skins fan. We're doing the uh, October break. As you can see, it's a little bit late. It's actually basically the end of the first week of November. Uh, we're on tradingcardcentral.com. For those who don't know, basically we put $25 each towards uh, football hobby boxes, break them every month, end up with about $350, $375 worth of cards every month. So this month, relatively small break, we've got two boxes. We've got uh, 2015 Panini Gridiron Kings and 2015 Panini Spectrum. I've never actually broken either of these, so this is going to be all new for me. And thanks to Dave and Adam's Card World, we also have two bonus boxes, both of 2015 University of Texas football. So I'm going to start with that. And um, because there's basically one autograph and not a lot of inserts, I'm going to try to buzz through this as quick as I can. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to slice open all the packs that I can and just go hunting for the autographs and then the inserts, but we try not to you know, spend a ton of time on it, because otherwise we're going to be here breaking it all day. So the only thing I can say about the UT football stuff is that some of the players didn't really, um, they weren't like big time players, so they didn't actually sign a bunch of stuff. So some of them are oddly, you know, it might be like a $10, $15 autograph, even though you've never heard of the guy, because it's like his only autograph. And of course, there's some decent ones in here. I think Jamal Charles, uh, like Colt McCoy is not bad, stuff like that. So, I mean, there's, there's decent stuff in here too, but usually we have to do a little bit of research and find out who actually the guy is. But like I said, sometimes those can end up actually being decent. Got uh, Pavi39 watching in the uh, the chat room, by the way. I think that's, is this the first time that you've been in on one of the, no, I think you've been in on them before. You're just, we have some pretty frequent viewers on the chats, and none of them are here at the moment. Granted, I'm doing this on a Saturday, too, so that's probably part of it. So I'm going to zip through these as quick as I can. And of course, it's difficult to get them out, even though I've cut them. So again, I'm going to basically limit myself to just uh, inserts and uh, autographs. But for those who haven't seen, it's a mix of like the you know, color cards. Uh, we've got Major Applewhite, and this is Scott Henderson. They're both like sepia tone. It's good photography, but again, it's a pretty low end break. So you got the one autograph, and not a ton else. Kind of interestingly, I know that uh, now Panini is all in on the, uh, the college stuff, so we'll probably be seeing more stuff kind of similar. Huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think that's probably the best autograph we could have hoped for, as a matter of fact. So we do have an autograph. I, I, I will almost guarantee you this one is a short print. This is a heck of a one for a, um, for a free. Uh, <laughs> I just didn't expect to see him at all. Uh, Earl Campbell. Really nice autograph, I have to say. The Tyler Rose, man. That's really slick. Not bad. So we're, I mean, we're probably drawn dead, but I, I literally do not think you can get a better autograph out of this box. It's Hall of Famer, man. Not, uh, didn't expect to see a Hall of Famer come out of here. Well, that's a great start, especially for a free box. I have a feeling we're kind of drawing dead through the rest of it. But that's a heck of a start. I know there's some really, really short printed stuff in here. I would, I would wager a lot of money. That's one of them. Pardon me while I break in silence. I'll make sure I'll come up with something when I can, but... This is just a lot of kind of churning and burning. So 
we do have an insert icons of Roosevelt leaks. Again, I literally do not know if that's possible to top in this set. So I'm guessing that one's going to go to the Titans. I don't know who. I mean, that's like a bonus for someone hunting Mariota, that's for sure. I can't remember who has them. I've been seeing in most boxes there's a, uh, a numbered card at a 99. I haven't run across that one yet. I'm going pretty fast, so I might actually have to go back through. Which I will do later, not on paper. So Pavi, since you are the only one in the chat room at the moment, when we get to the normal boxes, I'm assuming you want to do Gridiron Kings then Spectra, but I, I will totally honor you since you are the, the one and only guy watching at the moment. So let me know your preference. We'll make it happen. Another insert, another icon of at least a name a lot of people know, Vince Young. Five out of two ten. Don Talbert. You got it, man. If you develop a preference over the next couple minutes, just let me know. of the break, not just of the free box. So box number two of University of Texas football coming up. And I'll try to whiz through it as best I can. So I think what we're seeing on average on these is you get the one autograph, the one number card, and two to three of the icon inserts. Again, not the most interesting break in the known universe. But when you're getting boxes for free, you know, it is what it is. With all these that I've gotten for free from over the years from uh, Dave and Adams, I, mean, I think we've probably broken maybe like 20 of these boxes. I shudder to think how many like base sets I could have done at this point, which suddenly would have been meaningful my being in Texas and all. A little bit harder to move these in California, I would have to imagine. Okay. 
like some box number four. It's another Earl Campbell base. How many packs are even in this? 24 packs. These are these are some grueling breaks. But again, if you were an alum or you were like a big UT fan, I, I can only imagine how fun this would be though. I still barely know where I am in San Antonio half the time, so. A Ricky Williams would be a pretty cool one. I'm not sure he's in this set, though. I think one of the coaches is another big autograph out of here. I'm kind of curious after the break. I'm going to go look this up and see how many of that particular Earl Campbell are on eBay. I bet there's not a lot. It's funny, when I pulled the autograph, I was like half a second away from talking about how disappointed I was that it came so quickly, but again, it's a Hall of Fame autograph. I don't really care what it comes. It's like opening a box of Topps Chrome and getting the autograph in the first pack. Sometimes it kind of takes the anticipation away from the rest of it. And again, I think they have like dual and triple autographs. I guess that's one of the few that would even be a little bit better. So I'm pretty sure that uh, Earl Campbell's on a couple of those too. Though I've literally never even seen one of those. I'm not even on eBay at a show or anything like that, let alone pull one out of a pack. So those must be like, you know, five or ten of those at the tops. <coughs> So no inserts, no numbered, no nothing yet. I'm about halfway through. Still nothing. Soon enough, there's not a lot of packs left. Ah, okay, there we go. We've got our auto. Definitely not familiar with this one. Looks like one of the more old timey guys. So, running back from 59 to 61. So, yeah, definitely heading back a ways. Uh, one Jack Collins. I'm not familiar with his work. So that's one where, again, we'll have to look it up and see where it goes and what that one is worth necessarily. Let's do it with an icon of Russell Erxelben. That's a heck of a name. Erxelben? Erxelben? Not really sure. E-R-X, that's a heck of a name to spell. So five packs left. One pack, only one insert, and no numbered card, so I may have whizzed past it at some point. Oh, there's another of the inserts. It's uh, James Sexton icons. So I'll loop back through there, make sure I'm not missing anything on the numbered front. But now we get down to our more main event. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, Gridiron Canes. So this is new uh, Panini product. They had done I think they'd done gridiron things a long time ago, like I want to say maybe like early 2000s, something like that. Maybe 04, 04, 05 was the latest. So in this one, one autograph, one memorabilia card. 
I think there are some points, but I can't quite remember. I know it's a playoff of Diamond Kings that they did. Uh, I think that was kind of the more famous one they had done on the baseball front for a good number of years. So what are we looking at? 12 packs? So brand new one for me, so we'll see how this all goes. Okay, pack number one. So that's kind of more of a canvassy feel. Here's an Eli Manning base. Again, you can't really tell from it, but it's got, it's not as thick of a stock as I would have expected, but it's got like that kind of rough part to it. DeMarcus Ware, LaShawn McCoy, Alshon Jeffrey, Aaron Rodgers. And we do have, I think these are one of the, the hallmarks of this type of set. It's a framed, uh, framed rookie variant, or I don't know if all the rookies are framed. This one's Clive Walford of the uh, Raiders. So that's kind of the, the raised edge on that one. We've also got an Expressionist insert. It's uh, Mr. Tim Tebow. Still has a Bronco for some reason there. And another framed one. This is a red frame. No numbering that I can see, but I imagine these are varying rarities. This one's uh, Alex Smith, unless it has just to do with team colors. And of course, the Kid Reporter card. A lot of stuff going on here. Russell Wilson, Dez, Demarius, Calvin Johnson. And again, I don't know if these are like color themed because we have another one that's red that's Alex Smith, but I'm starting to suspect it just has to do with the color of the team. So next up is a Shaq Thompson framed rookie. No, he's placed for the Panthers. I think he was one of the ones that went to a local school where I was in California. We have a uh, Royal Performances of DeMarco Murray. Still being listed as a cowboy there. And another, uh, I guess there are maybe like one red frame a pack, and that's still any Walker Titans. I'm getting the format on this right. One red frame and one rookie frame per pack. Odell Beckham, Jordy Nelson, DeMarco Murray, Anquan Bolden. Well, that'd be a nice one if this were autographed. Sadly, no. We have a Gridiron Kings, uh, another frame, although I don't know what variant this is. Bo Jackson for the Raiders. That would have been a really nice one if that were something a little bit more. Another Shaq Thompson. This one, a red variant. So we have the normal frame and the red frame. Again, this would be a good one to be something. I don't, I don't get the... <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out exactly what the frame parallels are because we're getting all kinds of colors. This one's Jerome Bettis. Gold frame, bronze frame, something like that. And another Mark... Uh, well, a Mark Ingram, but another framed one. Probably should have done some research on this one in advance. I have no idea what the various rarities are on the frame. I think it's on the pack, so I'll take a look later. Bortles, Luck, Steve Smith, Alfred Morris, Robert Quinn. A Justin Hardy frame. Falcons. A Rod Woodson, all-time stat king, framed. Steelers, of course, and uh, Anquan Bolden, red frame. Frames for days. I think we got something here. We certainly appear to. Le'Veon Bell, Edelman, Bradford, Carlos Hyde, Doug Martin. And... Man. If that's our memorabilia, this is kind of weak. Player's not bad, but it's just like this tiny little swatch. It's very unremarkable. 81 out of 249. A very small Mike Evans memorabilia card for the... Uh, uh, Bucks, yeah, of course. Just can't think today. Good rookie, though. Blue frame, Melvin Gordon. And a J. Cutler red frame. It's 
kind of a weak memorabilia. We have like one memorabilia, one auto. We've got Nick Foles, Julio Jones, Isaiah Crowell, Lynch, Witten. Got a uh, Richard Perriman frame for the Ravens. And Gridiron Kings, uh, Mario Williams, Super Mario. Some sort of insert there. And a Robert Griffin blue frame. Makes me sad every time I see a Griffin card, admittedly. Kaepernick, Devonta Freeman, Blunt, Woodson, Joyke Bell. We have a frame of Quinton Rollins, red frame. Packers. All time stat kings. Nice one for me, Joe Theismann. Nothing special, but I like the logo, I like the frame. Pretty cool one. And a all time stat kings, Peyton Manning. Neat card. A good mix of veterans and rookies and all that stuff. Like you don't see Bettis, you don't see Theismann in a lot of sets these days. Pierre Paul, Fitzgerald, Ryan, Charles, Cutler, a Tony Lippett rookie for the Dolphins. All kinds of sets, man. Aficionado, uh, Tannehill. Like a billion parallels, it feels like, and a red frame, Nick Foles, parallels and subsets and all kinds of stuff. Jarvis Landry, Antonio Gates, Ellington, Green, Deshaun. Uh, is this our signature? Sadly, yes. Oh, boy. Uh, studio signatures, Gridiron Kings, Rashad Green of the Jacksonville Jaguars, 156 of 249. If those are two hits, that's kind of a weak box, I have to admit. Uh, new aesthetic, Le'Veon Bell, bad timing. And Steve Smith Sr. red frame. A somewhat uninspiring box, if that's what we're ending up with. Stafford, Gore, Manziel, Sankey, Austin, a Jeremy Langford, framed rookie, should be starting this week. Steve Young, Gridiron Kings. I love the artwork on some of these. Really nice looking card. And a T.Y. Hilton blue frame. Again, I'm not sure if there's different parallels on the frames or if it just has to do with the team. I'm new product, I don't know. McCoy, Marcus Colston, Watkins, Manning, Zlesny, Devin Funches, red frame rookie. So it probably doesn't have to do with the team. That's that is. Uh, another frame of Bo Jackson. This one's a red frame, so apparently it doesn't have to do with the team. There is some sort of parallel. And a Marcus Colston red frame. Saints. I've yet to discover the rhyme or reason with what's framed what. How rare. Probably look up after the break. Taylor Gabriel, Adrian Peterson, Donkowski, Flacco, Mario Williams, uh, Bud Dupree, rookie for the Steelers, framed. I can imagine this one being a fun set to collect. Uh, All-time stat kings, Marshall Falk. And a Deshaun Jackson red frame is what we'll end up with. So neat looking set, cool parallels. Ugly, ugly hits on that one. And final box. Again, this is what ate the majority of our budget was uh, Spectrum. So first time ever breaking spe Spectrum, not just this year, but any year. 11 hits per, per box, four autographs. I've seen some really nice patches come out of here. Well, again, maybe not this year. I haven't looked it up a ton, but out of prior years, it's some really good cool stuff.
Oh, wow. I guess I didn't realize it's only four packs of cards. So, like, they're each... I don't even know what... If there's 11 hits, it's like... Like, two and most, three and some. Really big, thick packs. So away we go. This is going to be a quick one. I'll try to go card by card. So, first off, we have a die-cut Aussie Newsom. One of 35. Good-looking card, too. That's the Browns. I don't even know if there are any base cards in here or what they look like. Oh, so we have a hit right off the bat. And a pretty nice one at that. Um, well, 5 of 50. I don't know what type of parallel this one is, but that's an Aikman uh, memorabilia. That's pretty nice. So one hit down. Uh, a 10 to go. So we have another one out of here. Oh, my. We got something big coming. Got uh, Russell Wilson and Navarro Bowman. Rivals, uh, 9 of 49. Interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. How's this team? Hang on one second, because this is big. This is probably one of the biggest hits we've had in a long time. Oh, man. I wish Field Level View happened to be here. Um, he's one of our... Um, most regular viewers, I would say, and with his draft team, not even his own team. Again, probably our biggest hit that we've had in a long time. One of one, on-card autograph, and NFL logo, Jeremy Hill. This is a pretty spectacular card. So NFL logo, on-card autograph, one of one, Jeremy Hill. That's freaking amazing. <laughs> Wow, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty awesome way to start. <laughs> we still have three more packs of this. Oh man, pretty awesome. All right, so moving on, I guess. Um, man, this is a pretty awesome set. Seven of 10, really kind of crazy looking card. It's Emmett Smith, like an X-Fractor. A 7 of 10. Again, really low numbering on these. Next up, we have an autograph. Uh, 31 of 50. Jaguars. Uh, I'm not sure he's still with the team. Ben Koyak. I believe he's a tight end. 31 of 50. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4. Wow. Good looking card. Really nice looking card. Uh, number one of 25 for uh, Supa, uh, Mike Davis. Really nice multicolor patch here. Got the big patch on the one side, like a sleeve patch on the other side, one of 25. Uh, I was hoping this one would be autographed too. We've got a gigantic jerseys, 98 and 199. Melvin Gordon for the Chargers. Wow, impressive, impressive stuff so far. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a weird flashback. So uh, 11 of 99, Deion Sanders as a Redskin. That didn't last very long. It's an interesting flashback for me. A rising rookies two jersey of uh, Leonard Williams, 197 and 199. A really weird choice for a signature. Um, <laughs> 17 of 99, Rod Streeter for the Raiders. I could see that as a rookie, but as a veteran, that's a really weird choice. And a sink swatches. One of the hotter rookies of uh, this year's class, 25 of 50. We've got Trey Mason and then his buddy, well, probably not a really good pal considering he took his job, Todd Gurley. How many? We've got one pack left and we've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we should have two cards out of here and we've got one, two, three. At least one of these should be an autograph and I don't. 
I don't know if one of these is going to be ginormous or something like that since there's supposedly only two hits in this one. But I guess we'll find out. Man, all these flashbacks. Uh, 24 out of 25. Ricky Williams as a saint. Really interesting uh, color variations on here, too. I guess maybe we're getting a bonus hit. 11 hits on average, so there might be more. I think there are here. 43 of 50, Cameron Wake. The fins. Oh, wow. Probably not the guy everyone's necessarily looking for, but it's a really cool looking card. For the Saints, 10 of 35, Garrett Grayson. Really weird autograph on that one, too. So you got the patch, a little bit in the corners there. I don't know what kind of ink this one was. It's like a different color in Sharpie, like a blue one. Pretty neat looking card, though. And last up, oh, okay, I guess it is 11 hits because this one was a base. Uh, 48 and 99, Le'Veon Bell. Okay, so that went quick and was kind of awesome. So let me, let's do one second. We'll do the recap of everything here. Just gonna sort it out. So I gotta say, um, one of the biggest hits we've had in a long time, long time. <laughs> it's one of those ones where you get a, got a little shaky afterwards. So out of our two University of Texas boxes, we had one, I have no idea, hit and one very good hit. We had Jack Collins and then the Earl Campbell autograph. Really nice. So out of Gridiron Kings, we had the Mike Evans game use. And then the Rashad Green out of 249 autograph for the Jags. I think I got skunked on this one, but man, um, I mean, if we're gonna, if I'm gonna get skunked, I might as well pull out like a, a one-on-one NFL logo auto while we're at it. Uh, Aikman at a 50. Oh no, I did have like that random Raiders signature. I don't know who this one's gonna go to yet. I think the Seahawks, considering if they're both owned, which I believe they are. Uh, Russell Wilson and Navarro Bowman. Mike Davis uh, out of 25. I know he'd be playing a lot more right now, but he's hurt. But with uh, some injuries to Carlos Hyde and Reggie Bush, he'd be getting more play time. Melvin Gordon, 199. Leonard Williams, rising rookies for the Jets. Cameron Wake out of 50. Dolphins. Trey Mason, Todd Gurley, Rams. Autographs were Ben Koyak of the Jags out of 50. The really odd choice of uh, Rod Streeter out of 99 for the Raiders. And then this would, this is a pretty nice one. Again, I guess it remains to be seen what Grayson's going to be, but 10 of 35, Patch Auto. And then this monster. Jeremy Hill, NFL logo, on card auto, 101. I mean, that, that checks off all the boxes. Look at that. That is a beaut. So I'm going to do my best to get this uploaded quickly and get some pictures uploaded because I have a feeling people are really going to want to see this one. Um, man, exciting finish to that one. Uh, <laughs> short but sweet, just about 35 minutes. Probably 39, thank you for joining me. Um, Rare that I'm left a little speechless after a break. That's a heck of a card. And I have no idea what that would bring in. It's a big one. So tradingcardcentral.com, if you'd like to join us in the next one, we're going to get this one posted very shortly. Thank you for joining as always. And yeah, I'll get this posted as quick as I can. Thank you very much, guys.